Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are going to find the exact values for um, the sine um, and cosine functions that we have listed here. So to do that, we start off always by doing a quick sketch of the angle that is in question. So the 240 degrees, if we sketch it quickly, will end up in the third quadrant about here. And we're really interested in finding that related acute angle right here. So we can call that alpha if you want. And to get that related acute angle for the third quadrant, we're going to do 240 degrees minus 180 degrees. And this gives us 60 degrees for alpha, which is that related acute angle. So we know that this sine of 240 degrees is going to be the same as sine of 60 degrees, which happens to be one of our special angles. We also have to look at the cast rule here. And in the third quadrant, the sine ratio is negative, so make sure that we add a negative on that sine of 60. So now we just have to find out the value of sine 60, and we can do that easily without a calculator because we know that it is a special angle. So if you recall our special triangle, and we can just sketch it really quickly here, if the 60 degrees is there, and we label this 1, 2, and root 3, sine of 60 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse, so that's root 3 over 2. And our final answer then is root 3, sorry, negative root 3 over 2 for sine of 240 degrees. So let's do it again now for cosine of 135 degrees. Again, we start off by doing a quick sketch of the angle 135 degrees. That lands us in the second quadrant, if we look this way. So there's 135 degrees. We are interested in finding the related acute angle, and that is this angle here. Again, so again, we'll label that angle alpha. And to find the related acute angle in the second quadrant, we do 180 degrees minus 135 degrees, and we get 45 degrees for that angle alpha, which is the related acute angle. So now we know then that that means that cosine of 135 degrees is the same as cosine of 45 degrees. Go back to your cast rule. In the second quadrant, sine is the only ratio that's positive, so cosine here is going to be negative, so add your negative in here, and now these two expressions are the same thing. So 45 degrees is one of our special angles, and we can figure out what cosine of 45 degrees is by going to one of our special triangles without using a calculator. So we do 1, 1, and root 2 for this, we know this is 45 degrees, so cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the value here of cosine 45 degrees is going to be 1 over root 2. So here we get negative 1 over root 2 for our value. If you want to rationalize this um, denominator, then you'll get negative root 2 over 2 as the our answer for cosine of 135 degrees. Thanks for visiting Mrs. A Loves Math.